So I tried out therapy to be specific. I tried out the online therapy service called Better Help and I'm here to give my review on it. This is not sponsored. I paid for this fully. No one is paying me to do this video. So first of all, what is BetterHelp? So it's this online therapy platform, you can call it, where you have your therapy session online and you're automatically matched with your therapist and talk through this platform. So I've been using BetterHelp now for more than a month. I think almost one and a half months. But let's go back. Why did I even, how did I even come to wanting to try out BetterHelp? So I've always been the person who thought therapy is something that everyone and anyone can really benefit from. I don't think there's a single person out there without any problems, but I always envisioned myself as someone who is going to get therapy at some point in my life just because I think it is so helpful, but just not now when I have the money because therapy is pretty expensive. Since the beginning of this year, so since 2021, a lot has changed in my life. I moved from living alone or living with my boyfriend back to living with my parents. I um, changed from having all the free time in the world to do what I love to having a full-time internship and dedicating all my time to this internship that turned out not to be as fulfilling as I hoped and thought it would be. So I felt kind of dissatisfied with the place that I am in right now in life and I felt like I kind of lost my way, lost my sense of purpose, I lost my direction kind of and I needed, I felt like I needed help. I felt like I needed someone who is not going to judge me, someone who is going to understand me, help me make sense of what's going on in my mind. Because we all know when we talk to our partners, our parents, our friends, they all have their kind of bias vision that they're going to project onto you. They're going to have hopes and expectations that they might project onto you. And I really wanted someone who is there for me and is going to be very neutral and just help me figure out my self and my thoughts. Now I chose online therapy specifically because I didn't think I had huge problems or illnesses like depression for example, so that meant that I would have to pay for therapy myself. For most medical insurances here in Germany, they're only going to cover your therapy costs if you have depression or an eating disorder, just something more severe. But me just kind of being dissatisfied with things, they're not going to pay for that. So I decided to go the online therapy route because I thought that would be um, more affordable. And I also liked the fact that it would be pretty discreet. I could just start going to therapy without people noticing I'm leaving the house, asking where I'm going. It can just be me in my room. Also, what I like about online therapy is that you save that time where you have to travel to a doctor's office and um, then travel back and the process of getting ready. And personally, I was also someone that wanted to have therapy in English. I live in Germany. If I were to find someone, an in-person therapist, he or she would probably do the whole session in German. And I'm someone that not always thinks in English, but when I journal and when it's more about feelings and more deep things, I prefer to do that in English. I also even compared different online therapy services or platforms just by looking at reviews, what they offer, what they don't offer, and from what I saw compared to what my requirements are, I felt like BetterHelp was the best fit. I was looking for something that's affordable, a platform where I could do video therapy. So I chose BetterHelp. Now when you get started, you start out by filling out this quiz and they ask you a lot of different things like have you ever been to therapy? Do you prefer maybe a religious-based therapist? Or do you prefer a man or a woman as your therapist? Have you had any trauma? What type of therapy do you prefer? So a therapist that is maybe more 
um, going to be telling you the hard truth or someone who's going to be more understanding and I really like that about um, BetterHelp. I was positively surprised by this questionnaire. I felt like they were really considering me and what I like and what I don't like. Then when they've kind of made an assessment, they ask you to sign up and to pay before you actually start. So that was a point where I then hesitated and realized, okay, this is going to cost me $200 a month. And that was a little much, but I emailed BetterHelp and told them about my financial situation that I'm currently earning minimum wage and living at parents and things like that. And they were really understanding and they gave me, I think like a 10 or 15% discount. That is another plus point with BetterHelp that they consider the fact that you might not be financially very able to afford therapy. So they do give discounted rates to people who need it. Now, based on all the things that are filled out with the quiz, they pretty quickly, I think within like an hour or so, paired me with a therapist, but they do say that it takes up to, I think, 24 hours. So the first thing I did was I made sure to schedule an appointment with my therapist. An appointment, I mean like a session where we both be focused on communicating to each other. They have different options. They do a voice call therapy session, a video call therapy session, or just a chat therapy session. So you can really choose what you want. As I said, I personally really wanted the video conference therapy just because I think it's important to see the person, see their expressions. Now, in the beginning, I had, it was really difficult and it also took a mental toll on me since I was already in that negative space. There was a problem with the time difference. So my therapist is in the United States and with the time different time difference better help also i think got my time zone wrong or my therapist's time zone wrong i'm not sure but the time zone didn't match up so there was a lot of misunderstanding in the beginning of if i schedule the session at 9 p.m. is this then my 9 p.m. is this my therapist's 9 p.m. and it was a huge confusing mess in the beginning i felt really stressed out even more than i should be i think BetterHelp has sorted that out now because I don't have that problem anymore. So I scheduled my first appointment and when the time of the appointment came around, I was really nervous. I set myself up. I made sure to be in a room where I can be myself. I made sure to prepare myself mentally before going to therapy. I did that by sitting with myself half an hour before therapy, just journaling out my thoughts, what I want to say, and also again after therapy, journaling out what we talked about. Um, so when the time came, I was ready. You're supposed to be online on the platform and wait for a therapist that your therapist is going to call you through the platform. So I waited and I waited and it was 10 past, it was 15 past, it was 20 past and my therapist just didn't show and that again was such a disappointment and wasn't great mentally. So I was so excited for this, so nervous for this, it was a financial commitment and then my therapist doesn't show. My therapist ended up showing up half an hour later but explained that it was BetterHelp's fault once again with the time difference being labeled incorrectly and incorrect, put incorrectly into her schedule. The being late aside, the first session went really, really great. Kind of start to get to know your therapist to see if it's even a good fit. If you feel like you're not connecting with your therapist or just not a good fit, you you have the option to change therapist on BetterHelp. They will match you with a different one. You can change as many therapists as you want. But I felt like I really connected with my therapist and I'm still with that same therapist. And right within the first session, my biggest question as to my direction in life and what I want and that got answered really quickly. My therapist basically made me realize that the answer I've been looking for was always there within me. I've just been too scared to admit that that is my answer because of a bunch of reasons, expectations of others, expectations of myself. But I remember coming out from that therapy session being really, not mind blown, but how do you call it? Like horses have those blinders, like those have been lifted. I was like, wow, okay, this makes so much sense. And I spent the following week really reflective and thinking about what my therapist told me, how 
um, I would apply that to my life, what that means for me. Yeah, and from then on, luckily, my therapist has always been on time. There was no more issues with the time difference. I had a lot of sessions where I really came out feeling really good, feeling really productive. And um, my therapist also had a few questions for me that um, I got to think about throughout the week, which I personally really liked. I'm more a reflective person and she asked me some really tough questions that um, are really important though. Even though I've only been to therapy like one and a half months, I really feel like it's really helped me. I did have some sessions though where I felt a little frustrated afterwards. I felt like it wasn't really going the way I expected it, but that was just me projecting my expectations on my therapy sessions. I mean, it's not always going to go perfect and wonderful. Sometimes you're just not going to have that much to talk about and that's fine as well. But in general, I'm really happy with my therapist and the way that she handles these sessions with me and um, the direction that we're going down. And currently I'm still doing better help. I'm still uh, doing therapy. I actually have a session tomorrow I'm really excited about. I do have a few tips if you decide to go ahead and try out BetterHelp is that for one, I would say to be quick with scheduling your sessions because there are only a limited amount of slots open and you don't want to be scheduling your session the day before because then the times that you are free might not be free anymore. What's also really nice about the platform is yes, you do have those scheduled sessions, but outside of those sessions, you have access to your therapist 24 seven. So there is this chat window where you can write to your therapist, whatever is on your mind. Something I learned is you, I would really utilize that chat to connect with your therapist throughout your week. I was always the one in the beginning to hold my thoughts and write them down on a piece of paper and wait for my session before asking all my questions but really use all the time that you are paying for. And that is also that 24 hour access to your therapist. Your therapist might not answer straight away, but they are going to probably answer within a, a day or two. You want to keep your, the conversation going and get the most out of what you're paying for. So I want to sum up the pros and the cons of my experience of better help. So the pros for one is like I just said, the 24 hour access to your therapist. So you can write your therapist anytime you want with any question you have. And then what I also really like is when you're having that conversation in the chat, you have things written down. And I sometimes like to go back and to read what we talked about. You kind of refresh your mind. Um, as when you're only talking by video or voice, you don't have like a recorded version of that. So sometimes you forget what you talked about. Something BetterHelp also has is group therapy. So in addition to your normal sessions, I haven't tried that out yet, but it's definitely something you should try out. I mean, you're paying for this whole package, so why not try that out and use that? And also just the fact that they have reduced rates for people who need it that have a lower income. So maybe you can try out emailing BetterHelp as I did. And at least for me personally, BetterHelp did a really good job matching my therapist to me. I don't know if I just had really, really good luck, but I really like my therapist. But I think it's also normal if you go through a few therapists before you find one that really matches with you. Maybe I'm just really lucky there. And also BetterHelp has a app that you can use on your phone, which I think is really, really helpful. So when you're chatting with your therapist, you can um, do that right on your phone. You don't have to get out your laptop. And there's also a journaling function where you can enter in small journals or notes and you can even share that with your therapist if that's something that you like. Now, going over to the cons, for one, I feel like the therapy sessions are short. I don't know if it's different with every therapist, but my therapy sessions are only 30 minutes. Now, I've had sessions where I felt like that was totally fine. I got out everything that I wanted to get out, but then there were also times where it I felt like it got kind of cut short. I was in the middle of... of explaining something, but my therapist had to go on to her next session. So it was 
that is a little bit unfortunate. I feel like it's a little too short. My therapist was really kind as to say, hey, let's continue our conversation in the chat function. So at least there is that. Then, as I said in the beginning, the time difference was a little unfortunate, but luckily that is now not an issue at all. And also, if you remember in the beginning, I said I wanted to do online therapy because I felt like it would be more affordable. Well, it turns out I think BetterHelp isn't that much more affordable than in-person therapy. Of course, prices always can vary so much, but I feel like it seems more affordable, but keep in mind the sessions are only 30 minutes long, at least for me, so in the end it wasn't that much more affordable. What you do kind of also pay for is all that extra stuff, so the 24-hour access to your therapist, the group sessions, and as I've also already said, the scheduling of the session can be a little stressful or I've heard for other people's on reviews that it was stressful stressful for them that they didn't get the time that they needed and they ended up not having a session every week. So be sure to schedule as soon as you can. You have to reschedule each session if that makes sense and you can always only schedule the next one. So all in all I really really recommend BetterHelp. I think it's a absolutely great service for I recommend it especially to people who want to try out therapy, who've never tried out therapy before, like me. I personally don't think that it can replace a in-person therapy session. I think those are going to be different connection-wise and maybe also, also the length. But maybe if you feel like you don't have extremely severe mental health issues, maybe you just want some guidance um, just to get to know yourself better, maybe BetterHelp is a good place for that. And I also like that no matter where you live, if you move, if you don't move, you always you can always stick to the same therapist since it's online. I really, really enjoyed BetterHelp and my therapy. I love my therapist. Of course, your BetterHelp experience will also strongly, strongly depend on your specific therapist. But I've had a really good experience with BetterHelp. It's helped me understand myself better, know what I want, know what my values are in life, know how to cope with specific, more difficult situations. And yeah, I all in all really, really enjoy it. Even though this video is not sponsored by BetterHelp, they do have like a referral link. I won't get any money if you use that referral link, but you, the one using the link, and I will get a free week. So it's kind of like a win-win. As said, it's this is not sponsored. Just if you want to try it out, we can help each other out. Hopefully you valued this honest BetterHelp review. And yeah, whether you decide to use BetterHelp or not, I highly recommend therapy. I still think it helps everyone and anyone and it can just only make you a better person. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.